Hey, I just got another great email. Hey, Richard, what's your take on haters or naysayers in the workplace? Hmm. Now we're talking. Hey, man, I contribute 50% of my success based on my naysayer list, which every time I'm struggling or feeling defeated and like I'm not capable, I refer to that list. And that's exactly that shot, that burst, that injection, that power I need of achieving um, to push me over the top and get me moving forward again so I can accomplish the, uh, the objectives. Hell, I love a nice hair. Let's go for a walk. So when we talk about naysayers or haters, you know, which is probably the, the more appropriate term nowadays, listen very carefully. Some of the most valuable people on your team or in your organization, they're the ones who make you prove the plan. Listen to what I just said. They're the ones that make you work out all the little nuances. They're the ones that make you provide validation. They're the ones that bring the attention and the things that could go wrong to the table. All the yes men and the, the cheerleaders, right? They're fine and dandy. I mean, they're going to be good people. But, um, but it's the naysayers, the haters that will take you to greatness and when you see them or you hear from them, make sure you do what I do. Say hello. Go over and shake their hand, smile, you know. You don't have to be fake. Just be genuine. Be authentic. Thank them. They'll never know why you're thanking them. But just thank them. Because ultimately what you're doing is you're, you're, their negativity is exactly what you need for you to help push you forward. That's the things that, um, at the end of the day, I mean, sometimes people don't understand that. And this is some true art of war shit. You know, it's just, you have to recognize that there's always going to be folks that are envious, that are jealous, that hate you, they can't stand you, they're, they, they, you have what they don't have. You can't listen to that noise. You got to block it out. But there are going to be day, days that you feel like... You're not capable of achieving or you feel defeated or maybe you're just exhausted and burnt out. But sometimes it's that mental health day that you'll need to just sit there and sort of regroup and pull things back into perspective. For me, that's exactly what I do. So I, I take that time to reflect. I process it probably sometimes a little more than I should uh, and, and in depth. But I also look at it from the perspective of this isn't a learning experience for me. So I regroup mentally. And then I take a look at that list and I think about, okay, these are all the people that said I could never do this. I've built a whole career on that statement. I built a whole life on people that thought I would never amount to a damn thing. And, um, and here I am. And I'm nobody special. I'm just like anybody else. All of this in this beautiful world, anything could be achieved. You can learn anything. You could do anything you want to be. It's like the little kid on the videos, right? You can do anything you want to be. You can be president. You can learn a new job. You can. It's the same thing, man. At the end of the day, that's how naysayers and haters are. And um, I like to try to convert those folks. Because those are also part of the teachings that I give back in these videos is they're the ones that need to be saved, right? Not so much save me, that's a, a harsh word, but um, they're the ones that I talked about in the, in the mountain, right? They're at the bottom of the mountain, they need to be picked up, dusted off, and put back in the game. And we need to provide them with the confidence and the strengths and the skills and the training that they need to perform the objectives and get them back to where they, they need to be. Um, not everything has to be or feel like a job. 
Um, ultimately, if you're lucky enough to find your passion, your why, and understand what that is, so that when you do go to somebody else's, you know, as an employee, and to their establishment, uh, their organization, and that doesn't feel like work to you, what you're doing, man, you're in a beautiful place. And a lot of people don't figure that out, and and um, they'll spend a whole t- lifetime trying to figure that what that is, and it's unfortunate. But I will try to actually help those folks out and understand what that is. And I and I think I have some great exercises and questions to help most people get to the root cause of what that really is. And it's ultimately at that point just about self-discipline, right? And making that decision to do so like the age old saying says right you can lead a horse to water but you can't make them drink well i can give you all the resources you need and i can help you out but uh at the end of the day you're the one that has to pull the trigger and initiate so anyway that's my take on uh haters naysayers uh hit me up in the comments let's talk about it and uh yeah man i look forward to it until next time see you